hello in this video like I will be going to install uh, Jenkins uh, basically Jenkins run on Java platform so I need to install uh, Java first so I will just run the command choco install jre8 to install uh, Java so <coughs> It's getting downloaded and uh, it will ask you to like do you want to run the script just I will say yes then it start downloading JRE 8 so I'm using uh, Windows 2019 server data center server so installation is started now so installation is started now Now 64 bit is getting installed. Okay, so Java is installed now. So we can check from control panel. Yeah, port 64 bit and 32 bit is installed. Now we'll go ahead and uh, install Jenkins using Chocolatey. So I can type that but just to make it handy I pasted it there. Now linking is getting downloaded. The size of the Jenkins is 117.75 MB, so it won't take much time. So, <coughs> in general, uh, like whenever you install Jenkins manually, you need to go for a stable Windows version. Uh, if you are using Chocolatey, it will always go for uh, like Windows stable version. Uh, like you are able to see here that uh, it is getting downloaded like a windows uh, stable version of 2.150.2 uh, so it's it's good that uh, uh, using chocolatey uh, helps us uh, if is if it is a latest version or beta version a uh, couple of incompatibilities uh, will be there so always suggested to install a windows stable version of jenkins Installation is completed and uh, Jenkins is also installed successfully. Okay, <coughs> so Jenkins Jenkins is installed successfully. So we'll check the we'll check whether Jenkins is accessible or not. For that, we need to go to browser. So Internet Explorer. Uh, Like in my next video, I will be installing Chrome. Like, uh, it, uh, like Internet Explorer will be blocking a couple of things. So we need to type HTTP 
slash my server name is w2019 okay so you click enter it should okay <clears throat> jenkins is accessible now so to to ensure jenkins is securely set up by the administrator we need to copy the password from from this setup location we need to copy this password and we need to paste it here then click continue there we go so now Jenkins is ready to access so in my next video we'll work on how to use Jenkins and all the stuff thanks for